actually this is my Christmas present from my bun. No, another Christmas present. He gave me lots of Christmas present. This is one. This is a wall in my pine. This is an old living fossil 200 million years ago. And I come out with the authenticity of certificate of it. 19 at the moment. Yeah. Now, I am using this type of watering thing. Actually, you can put a bottle in here and then you can just leave it for one week or two weeks, especially when you're away. The good thing about having this type of watering thing is to keep away those fungus nets. You know what's fungus nets? Yes, fungus nets. They're just, just little flying like fruit fly. They fly everywhere and they, they even went to your coffee, into your face, into your nose. They're actually annoying. So if you notice, and they like a bit of a dam, that's why they breathe. And I actually use a lot of stuff to get rid of the fungus gnats. I did use also the neem oil to kill the eggs. But I think it more... Oh, you can see here, I'll show you. That is a fungus gnats there. That one. I think they're all dead anyway. I'm not sure. They're pretty dead. Hooray! You see, they, they thrive. If your soil is dry, they won't survive. See, it's totally dry here, but it's actually I'm doing a slow release of watering thing using this thing. Um, it's a... I'm gonna send a link. I'll put the description and I'll show you what sort of things it is. They're actually good because you don't have to water the entire soil and it doesn't give them a damp or wet you know and that's where the fungus nuts likes to lay their eggs and leave even though you're gonna put neem oil it's still still gonna keep, keep coming back so this is the best way to get rid of them and I bought another set of them in eBay so most of my big plants that's are having this this one and this type this one too actually pull that one because this is my new addition to the family of indoor plants this is actually a woolly my pine woolly my pine um it's actually a prehistoric living fossil way back 200 million years ago and it's actually a bit of a gem of a collection you can keep them indoor and outdoor too but i'm i would love to keep it indoor and it actually smells good smells like pine mm. so yeah so I'm gonna show you here this is my certificate of authenticity when I bought that I actually didn't buy it it's my husband gave it for me to me it's the wool in my pine it's um you by owing a wool in my pine you are contributing to the conservation of the endangered population in the wild as well as other rare and threatened plant species that is really really awesome and also I've got a book of thing here that how to care for your living fossil I actually love it yeah my husband bought it and he said it's just gonna give you a crown of my jewel in my plants it is a living fossil look at that isn't it awesome yep it's pretty awesome and so then you can see what's inside in here you can have a read of it just during the dinosaur time era everything it's got tips for taking care of it see this one you can put it in a pot actually you can repotting and planting and growing <clears throat> it can actually grow to 10 to 15 meters if probably planted in the ground I'm not sure oh, gee. and it's got positioning maintenance foliage cones and cupping and everything so it's actually gonna have a pine cone like that so it's got cone and feet oh it's got a female cone male and polar cap so I am gonna have a read of it I already read this but I'm um, so interesting to have one of these little fella in my side my house now it's got a uh, you know like uh, because yeah I will I, I'll putting it in the container it's got things what you do in doing January 
like February, March, April, comes up with May, June, July, August, and September, October, November, December. So these are your guide, which is really good. So it's uh, yeah, it is actually a very cool plan to have. If you would love to collect one, I would recommend this type of pine, the woolly my pine. That's so pretty. <laughs> But it's not something I want to do, we continue. I want to stay here.